Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist here. Well, what do you think these are? <laughs> Pretty sure you can figure that out. These are uh, this zucchini here and crookneck squash, and these are amazing little vegetables that I think uh, more people should be eating because they will prevent lots of diseases. And I use them all kinds of things, casseroles, you know. Uh, one of my favorite ways is to cut them in half and uh, put them on the grill and put a little uh, nutritional yeast on them. It tastes like, like cheese, but it's not, and full of lots of vitamins and minerals. So a really great way to go. And right now, the summer being in June, we have a lot of summer squash out there, and they're great prices, and you can get them organic, of course and they're so easy to grow. I mean, you throw the seeds in the ground, they come up, they go, and you have tons of squash going on, and they're really nutritious. And the seeds are edible, and the flowers are edible, and uh, everything is edible on them. <clears throat> and if you don't like the rambling ones that go everywhere, they have the new varieties, which are uh, just a, a bush type, and so they don't take over your whole garden. So. That's uh, really amazing because I have a small garden and uh, I, they'll kind of go crazy if you let them. <laughs> I can't do that. So having the bush type is really, really great. Well, they grow uh, in North and South America and they kind of spread across the globe into uh, Europe and uh, the Italians kind of love them and kind of took over <laughs> using them <laughs> a lot. <clears throat> also, and the Native Americans called them part of the three sisters. That was uh, corns, bean, corn, beans, and squash. And they loved winter squash and summer squash. And so uh, they used them uh, a lot, and they were prolific in their society. So uh, they used them to sustain themselves. And they were even found uh, in the, the pyramids, uh, buried with some of the, the great leaders. So. What are you going to say? It's, they've been around a long time, so, and they are rich in the, and succulent, and they love to grow fast, and they uh, will grow in just about any soil, but they like loamy soil, full sun, lots of water, I mean lots of water. <laughs> and they will get huge if you let them get really huge, the, the squash will. And they contain about 80 different nutrients. That's amazing. You know, a zucchini contain 80 different nutrients. That's, wow. And it makes them, that makes them a nutrient-dense food. And the nice thing about it, you can also spiral cut these, you know, and make them into spaghetti, which is really great. Uh, uh, a low-carb spaghetti, which is perfect for uh, people who have diabetes. Also, they contain... Uh, pectin polysaccharides, and these are uh, called homoglacturinans. I hope I'm saying that right. And uh, D glacturinuric uh, acid, and they help to balance blood sugar and insulin levels, and to prevent type one and type excuse me type two diabetes. So if you have diabetes, especially type two by diabetes. You might want to be eating a lot of good old squash because it's really great. And I've got a ton of them I got to cook up today, to tell you the truth. <laughs> they also boost up your immune system and they contain a lot of great antioxidants and they help with preventing disease in general because antioxidants are powerful disease preventers. And they also, uh, like I said, lower the uh, blood sugar because they contain a lot of fiber and uh, they help to slow down that digestion of sugars and let them go out into the body slowly and also they contain a lot of B vitamins which are good for mood enhancement and vitality and energy and uh, I think that's B vitamins are really important uh, I think a lot of people don't get enough B vitamins also a lot of vitamin C, which is important for keeping away colds and flus and fire, all kinds of things. If you have uh, mucous membrane problems, you want to get a lot more vitamin C and 
you know, zucchini and <clears throat> all kinds of squash are the only way to do it because they have a lot of vitamin C and it keeps away cancer too. Also eating summer squash like crookneck squash <clears throat> helps to prevent cancer, uh, asthma. And if you have asthma, you're going to have less asthma attacks if you're eating a lot of squash. Very interesting. So I highly recommend you eat a lot of squash if you have asthma going on. They contain a lot of iron and copper, which helps with uh, preventing anemia. Also calcium and phosphorus for strong bones and uh, also uh, to help you know, prevent osteoporosis. It also contains a magnesium and manganese for enzyme production, vitamin K for preventing heart attacks, uh, potassium for good heart contractions and lowering blood pressure, and zinc for boosting up our immune system and uh, lots of good carbs which are there. And uh, also uh, they contain protein, in fact, for building strong muscles. So if you want to, you know, be on a plant-based diet, you need to eat a, a few zucchini. <laughs> also, they contain, and a lot of people don't know this, omega-3 fatty acids. You know, they're, omega-3s are not just found in fish. They're also found in vegetables. And so the zucchini and the crookneck squash and this type of thing they contain a lot of omega-3. So if you want to help to prevent strokes and cancer and cardiovascular disease, then you really want to eat some squash. Like I said, lots of antioxidants that help to prevent DNA damage and repair DNA damage. It's a cholesterol-free food and uh, it's a super low-fat food. Uh, it only contains 0 0.2 grams of fat per cup. That's pretty amazing and it has no cholesterol whatsoever. So this is a super healthy food. It's uh, great for eye health and preventing macular degeneration. If you ever see anybody go blind because of macular degeneration, I used to work with the blind center and it's a terrible thing. Uh, it's, these things contain a lot of beta carotene, you know, also lutein, exanthine, and so it's great for eye health and will keep you from going blind. Also, it's anti-inflammatory food. Uh, it's great for inflammation of the stomach, of the intestines, and pancreas also, which is really important. If your family history has to do with lots of pancreatitis, you want to eat a lot of, you know, <laughs> squash. That's all there is to it. Also, uh, helping prevent diabetes, as I said, and uh, the seeds also contain um, um, omega-3 fatty acids, which are help with inflammation too. And the seeds, if you let them get really big, <laughs> you can take them out and roast them just like pumpkin seeds, you know, and, and they're really great. Uh, also, helps to prevent uh, prostate disease and, and contains agents that help to prevent enlargement of the prostate and, uh, and prevent prostate cancer. Also, it's just like pumpkin seeds do, so that's something to think about. And, uh, you know, right now on the market, you can get summer squash for very little money, and you can grow them yourself, and uh, you can just have a pot on your patio, and you can get enough to sustain your family for a while. Because, and if you get so much, you know, I like to chop them up and throw them in the freezer, and uh, they'll be good, too, for a while. And they're antimicrobial, and they help to uh, fend off infections in the GI tract and uh, help to, they have been used in the past, the seeds have been used in the past to uh, get rid of intestinal worms. These wonderful zucchini and crookneck squash also help with PMS and uh, enrich the diet with, with lots of vitamins and minerals that help with PMS. Also, they help with cancer and preventing cancer because all the antioxidants and uh, a lot more studies being done on that too. And also, there's a lot of different varieties. You can have scallop ones, little round scallop ones, which are wonderful. Uh, these crookneck squash, zucchini, and there's a, <laughs> a whole bunch of different varieties. I mean, Lebanese ones, uh, there is so many different ones. I can't, I can't re 
say them all. There's, you just kind of look around. There's orange ones, there's yellow ones, there's green ones, and everything in white ones, and everything in between. <laughs> Finding, you can find them at your uh, markets, uh, supermarkets, uh, at your health food stores, and you get, get a hold of your uh, organic food farmer, and I'm sure he's going to have a lot of summer squash right now. And remember to eat organic because, you know, there's a lot of things in the supermarkets are sprayed with lots of different things and uh, they contain about six cancer-causing agents, 12 hormone disruptors, 10 other disease-causing chemicals, and that's not good. Well, we need to go back to natural ways, which are organic, and uh, actually feel better and be healthy. And you can use these things, you know, you ever made a zucchini lasagna? I mean, it, it's wonderful. And I use you know, nutritional yeast instead of using cheese, uh, and it really comes out great. And using some organic marinara sauce. And I have a lot of recipes on my website also, www.paulhater.com. And you can find all kinds of interesting things there. And also, it can be cooked with rice, and some people will make an end of desserts with cookies and cakes, you know, zucchini uh, cookies and uh, zucchini cake and uh, uh, all kinds of stuff. It can be also made with lots of tomato sauce. Lots of people make lots of recipes. In fact, I'm making a, a casserole today. I'm using a marinara sauce and chopping them up and so onions and garlic and putting, cooking them first and then putting a, a crust on top. So it'll be good and so and they can be roasted in the oven which is really nice I, I use them on the grill also like I talked about before and if you google whole foods plant-based summer squash recipes there's a huge amount of recipes that will come up and so enjoy wonderful <clears throat> zucchini and crookneck squash and white squash and all these wonderful squash because they will do your body good and make you feel great. And also, they're a great weight loss food. You know, it's a, I think it's about 36 calories per cup. And that's hardly anything. And if you want to get into that, you know, swimsuit to go out to the beach, uh, eat a lot more squash. And they contain a lot of water also. If you're a person who doesn't drink enough water, you want to, you know, get more water in your diet, get, eat more summer squash. They can even be juiced, and uh, that juice is also full of vitamins and minerals, and uh, really is good to add to other juices too. And so think about you utilizing what we have and and a huge amount right now, which is a lot of summer squash. And of course, if you want to get a hold of me, all my consults are free, and my contact information is down below. I'll be glad to help you. And also, if you uh, I uh, want to get me by email is down there and my phone number is down there so feel free and if you care to make a donation that's greatly appreciated and the link is down below also so have a wonderful day and remember I love you <laughs>